tell you a little bit about Jose if you don't already know. He began his legal career with a federal district clerkship in a federal district court in the District of Columbia. He returned to Texas to work on the border as an assistant public defender at the Texas Rio Grande Legal Aid and later serving as an assistant federal public defender in the Western District. He went back to DC where he served as deputy general counsel on the House Committee on Education and Labor, later worked as special counsel to the National Labor Relations Board and eventually served as a senior policy official at the US Department of Labor. And most recently he served as the executive director as the Workers Defense Project. He is our candidate, he's our nominee for Travis County District Attorney and Jose and his wife Kate and their two young children are proud to call Austin home and we're proud to have him on the ballot, Jose. Bianca, thank you so much. I mean, you make it sound like I can't keep a job. Um, <laughs> no, but I, I'm really, really grateful to be with you and to be with Ed and to be with this incredibly powerful group of Latino leaders here in Travis County. Um, as Bianca said, my name is Jose Garza and I'm running to be your district attorney because right now in this moment, our public safety is on the ballot and it is at risk all across this state. Our public safety is at risk because President Trump and Governor Abbott have mismanaged the greatest public health crisis our country has faced in a century. Because of their failures, over 220,000 Americans and over uh, 17,000 Texans have lost their lives. Because of their failures, over 10 million working people have lost their jobs and families are on the brink. And we know who has paid the highest price. It is nuestra comunidad, nuestra, nuestra gente. We know that uh, black and brown families are two times more likely to die um, from in this pandemic than their white counterparts and three times more likely to get in, uh, infected. Donald Trump and Greg Abbott have set the stage for an enormous amount of instability in our communities, in our state, and that makes us all less safe. But it doesn't have to be this way. We have the power to fix this. And over the last 10 years, um, regular Texans just like you have been organizing and showing the power that we have to change in our community, uh, our community and our state. Um, for the last 10 years, members of the Latinx community have been getting elected up and down the ballot. And because of your work, we are on the verge of generational transformational change all across this state. Um, we are on the verge of electing progressive candidates, members of the Latinx community here in Travis County and throughout the state. So together, if you will um, uh, reject what you see happening in our community, if you will show up and vote, if you will bring your tia to, to show up and vote, make sure that your primos show up and vote, we can fix our broken criminal justice system. We can make sure that we have access to affordable and reliable public transportation right here in Travis County. And we can make sure that every American has access to health care. We can do this and we will. It's so good to see you all.